welcome back to a new video. So I'm absolutely buzzing to start this vlog. So this video is a summer glow up and a pack with me for Ibiza. I mean, honestly, I am like me and Russ have been so excited. We booked this holiday when it was on the green list and it changed to Amber and then we were waiting for the government announcement. So today is Thursday the 5th. Um, so obviously today was the announcement they were doing it, like changing all the traffic light system and whatnot. And I was so worried that Spain was going to go to like Amber Plus or I don't know, go to red. Um, but it turns out the announcement last night at like 10 o'clock, me and Russ were just watching Love Island and it was like everything is sort of staying where it is. So Spain is still staying on the Amber list. So of course me and Russ are double vaccinated. So that's all good. So yeah, so I can start filming this video because I wanted to film it yesterday, but I thought I'm not going to start filming my pack with me in case something happens and we don't get to go. And I thought I don't want to jinx it. Like the suitcases are all the loft. I've got a rail of craziness here. Um, I've also literally got all my appointments booked in. So today I'm getting my hair done. As you can see, I've got quite um, dark roots. I'm also going to go ignore my hair. It's literally just like bed hair. But I feel like I want to go a bit shorter but I feel like I want some shape at the front. So, um, sorry, my voice is going to go croaky then. So as you can see, if I just sort of like, I've just got like these long pieces. So I used to have like a fringe and I sort of just grew it out, but I just feel like I want a bit of shape at the front. Like I love bangs and I really want some bangs, but I just don't know if I want really short ones. I don't know whether to just go for longer style shaping so I can still like tuck my hair behind my ear like this so I'm having my hair done this afternoon and then tomorrow I'm going to the beauty barn in Tamworth which I absolutely love I always write about going there I'm getting my nails done I'm getting my toes done I'm having a pedicure and I'm also having my brows laminated again so what I've got on my brows at the moment they've basically it lasted for around like I'd say like 10 weeks so I've only really started like putting products on them since then so I've been using a brow fixer which is a amazing so I'll show you it. So when it started to wear off I've been using the Anastasia this is the Braveries and it's so good and then I use it literally just with my Refi pen so I've been doing that so I thought I want to get done for holiday because there's nothing nicer than having like your brows all done like when I had my brows laminated I didn't have to touch them for weeks it was amazing I'm not doing my eyebrows um, and I'm also getting my lashes LVL'd again so nice and natural and um, so yeah I thought I'd vlog it all do the glow up and also start packing as well. I sort of bought loads of bits. Most of the things from my Zara haul, which you would have seen on Sunday, is coming with me. So I'm going to sort of lay all my outfits out. Like I've sort of planned, like me and us have been so on it with this holiday. We've booked our like dinner reservations. We've planned it, like we booked it about six weeks ago and we started booking things. So like everything is booked, ready to go. It literally was just needed the green light that we could go. Um, so I sort of planned my outfits for each night. So I'm going to sort of lay everything out on the doors. Um, work out on my rail lay out my shoes and my bags and like take pictures as well in my mirror so I can sort of see how the outfit looks and then keep it in a folder on my phone so when we go on holiday I can sort of see all my outfits what I've got and I can just easily get ready and not try and think hmm what am I gonna wear so yeah so excited guys I'm honestly buzzing and uh, so yeah let's start packing and sorting out my holiday outfits so I'm just bringing things into the bedroom I always literally hang everything on these doors um, just to figure out what I'm wearing for the evening. So I find that the evening outfits I want to really plan. And then the daytime ones I just want to sort of mix and match because it's a bit easier. So I'm going to take this lovely dress which I'm obsessed with. These are, these bits are from Zara. And then also this came the other day. I love this one shoulder dress from Mango. It's just so nice. I can imagine this with a nice tan, with my hair slipped back, some nice gold hoops in, some nice coral lipstick. Honestly, guys, I'm so excited. There's nothing better than holiday outfit. So I'm gonna go for a nice dress one of the evenings. This is this insane orange cord. We've booked a like sunset um, dinner on like Cafe Mambo. So I was just like, oh my God, this is the perfect outfit to wear for sunset. Again, all the gold jewelry, all the lips. Honestly, guys, like me and Russ as well, I'm sort of like planning. I've done a lot of shopping for Russ, so I've got some bits for him. So we're sort of like coordinating. Um, and then I've got these bits on here. Um, I'm gonna try this dress on again because I do love it. It looks really nice, but I just feel like, is it a little bit too, a bit too skimpy. I'm just not used to sort of wearing like 
shorter dresses. Um, so I'm gonna have a try on in a sec. I need to figure out what shoes I'm wearing with these. And then I've got these bits on here as well. This little top I'm gonna wear with these lovely shorts. And then this lovely high neck top as well I'm gonna wear with these trousers. There are another two outfits. So I'm gonna figure out what shoes. Oh, Hugo is just here watching me, bless him. I've got some bits as well that have come. I'm also waiting for more things to arrive. So I'm gonna sort out the nighttime things first and then we'll tackle the daytime. So this is what I'm doing. I'm literally trying everything on, trying it on with the shoes that I wanna wear, of course. This outfit will look so much better with a tan. And obviously when my hair is all nice and blonde and nice and fresh, imagine that with a nice lip, some jewelry. I'm obsessed with this little bag, it looks so nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna literally keep this really simple and go for the little cream crop bag with the chain and then wear these lovely jean shoes. Obviously ignore my toes as well, they're gonna get pedicured tomorrow um so yeah I thought these look really nice I'm gonna wear these shoes literally with some other outfits as well so I'm gonna try and like really minimalize what I'm taking like try and really plan it because we have 22 kilo so in the past when we've been away like I'm always ridiculously over because I literally just take everything so I'm trying to keep it really minimal this time and pack what I need pack stuff I can mix and match with by me taking photos and planning my outfits like this I can see what goes with what and then I'm not going to think, oh, I'm going to chuck that in, I'm going to chuck that in, because I can physically see on photos that I don't need anything else, if that makes sense. I mean, quote me on that one, when it comes to surely dropping my case off, it'll be over, and me and Russ will have lots of arguments um, trying to sort the case out, and then obviously me want to put stuff in his case. That's what always happens, but I'm just loving this cord set. It's very different for me. I never sort of really go for orange, but I just think for a holiday outfit with a good tan, I mean... It's just amazing, isn't it? Zara just always comes through. So I've just been trying on all the evening outfits. I've sort of retried some things on. Um, one thing that I'm really not sure about is the little like slinky Zara dress. It has a gorgeous low back. I featured it in my haul. The more I keep trying it on, I'm thinking, is it a bit risky? Um, because it is like quite short and then obviously with the like cowl neck at the front it has a low back as well I'm just like would I feel totally confident like it'll look gorgeous for a picture but I'm just like do I just take it for a picture or do I sort of style it because I know I'll be conscious like all evening when I'm wearing it which I don't want but anyway I thought I'd get on to my day pieces now so as you can see here I have some really lovely day dresses that I'm so excited to wear you guys know I just love um day dresses so first one I'm going to take this one it's from Revolve it's a couple of years old but it's like it's a lovely low V it has like a tiered detail as well on the front and um, I also got this gorgeous dress as well which I'm so excited to wear I love the print this one is from H&M it's just so pretty um look at the back as well how gorgeous I just feel like with a nice hat I literally had this for like so I've had it for like over two weeks but I literally saw it online and I ordered it straight away because I just knew it'd be perfect for holiday um it's so me as well look looks so nice it's a really good length then I have this one on here which you would have seen before which is from Zara it's a little crochet dress which is perfect for throwing on over a bikini or a swimsuit then I have another gorgeous one from H&M I just love the cream detail the floatiness and this one as well also has like a lower back detail as well so super nice and then how cute is this little crochet top i'm gonna wear this with some nice loose like beach style trousers for the daytime honestly it looks adorable on this one is from mango um, I just love a bit of crochet for the summer, especially for holiday. It's just so lovely. So I'm just going to start sorting out swimwear. So I got this one the other day. I haven't tried it on yet. It's from Naked Fashion, but I just love the one shoulder. The colour's also gorgeous as well, so I'm hoping that this looks okay on. Um, as you can see here, I just have a bag. Let's just literally accumulated swimwear over the last like couple of weeks because I've just been ordering things. I'm not liked. I've, I've said before, I just struggle with swimwear. I don't like it on me for like some styles. I really love this sort of like, what would you say, like knitted swimsuit style. And um, this one is from ASOS and it's also like brown on the inside. So it's like lined, so it's not sort of see-through when this stretches. So this sort of has like a low back as well. I think swimsuits are great for on holiday. Like I love wearing them literally with denim shorts as a bodysuit in the daytime. This one has a nice low back. So I just feel like I always take like a couple of extra um, swimsuits. I've then literally just got like loads of little bikinis in here. I've got 
like sunbathing bikinis. So some I'm just like, yeah, these ones are more dressy. So I got this one from Miss Guided, which is super cute. Um, it has like underwire on. I'm surprised it actually fit me, actually. It looks really nice on. Um, as you can see, I just love all this gathering, like smocked um, effect. And then honestly, I've got loads. I've got another black swimsuit in here. I just need to go through all this and just see what I've got. Um, I've got some little white bottoms from H&M and this one, which you would have seen on one of my other videos. Um, I've literally just got like, honestly, it's accumulated. I mean, this bag is like a Mary Poppins bag. I got this as well, which is also really cute. I thought it looked nice in the daytime, like with some denim shorts, as well as a little bandeau bikini top with a nice little shirt over the top. I just really liked the gold, it was really pretty. I've then got this one from Arquette as well. I'm gonna take, um, this honestly fits so nice. I'm gonna take this one as well. I've also got this one as well from Arquette. I mean, you can't really see because I'm literally just throwing it all everywhere. So it's one of those tops that sort of crosses like that at the front. Um, it's a really nice colour and really great quality. I've literally said about Arquette Swimwear being amazing. So there's that. So yeah, I'm going to take this bag with me as well, which is from Amazon Fashion. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so nice. And also this hat as well has come today, which is also from Amazon Fashion. It's such good quality. I'll try it on for you. Look how nice this sits. It's adjustable as well. It has like a string on the inside so you can adjust it. Um, yeah, so nice. I have my ASOS one, which I'm going to take, but I wanted one like this sort of style. Um, I tried one on in Zara and it wouldn't fit my head, and same in H&M, and I have a really little head. Um, but this is just like one size and you can adjust it for where you want to. Um, yeah, really cool. And then I also ordered this like visor thing from H&M. But I'm just like not sure if it's going to suit me. I just thought this is so good for sunbathing. Do you know when you like, oh, I love wearing a hat, but then half the time I always take the hat off because like I'm too warm. And I thought this one would be really great for sunbathing. I'm sure Russell probably rubbed on my hats as well. He sort of always rubs on my hat to cover his face up. So I'm going to literally just sort through all these bikinis because it's a little bit stressful right now. these travel organizers off Amazon. I've got a pink one for me and I've got a blue one for Russ. I thought they're really great to sort of like organize your suitcase. So you can see all my swimwear everywhere now. And I was thinking, do I just like put it inside a bag? Um, but I forgot that I got these. So I bought these. So these are basically just laundry bags. So obviously when you're away, you can just throw all your dirty laundry in it, which is really good. It keeps it all separate from your other clothes, especially if you're only wearing some things once and then so having to wash everything in your case sort of thing. Um, so you have some little laundry pouches here in different sizes there's also these as well which are really great for putting like obviously your beauty bits in all of your underwear and bits like that they literally come in three different sizes you have three sizes of these and then you have the laundry pouches as well so i'm going to sort of use one of these to put all my swimwear in and also put one in as well for all my underwear bits just to keep all those bits separate and it's just like super easy then to grab them out so i'm all just being like i find that when i pack i end up like stuffing things into shoes and there's just stuff everywhere and then when i get my case out it's just an explosion of clothes so i thought i'm going to try and organize my case this time and do the same for us as well because it looks so much easier i mean i've got stuff everywhere i've got some like new masks I've also got some like new like seam free underwear bits. Um, what's in here? Honestly, this is a, I think that's another swimsuit actually. Got another swimsuit there. And um, there's just clothes and stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, Hugo's just having a little snooze. Are you okay, baby? 
So I've sorted loads of bit in there, but I almost forgot to show you guys what I'm taking with me as well. GHG kindly sent me the new GHG Unplugged, which is their first ever cordless styler. So I am such a, I've had GHD since I was in my teens. Um, I always knew that GHD would do something like this and yeah, they're amazing. So, so handy. They charge, it should take two hours to charge for like, I think it's like half an hour of usage time. Um, but also it comes with this little bag. So super slim, perfect for traveling. And look at that. I mean, so, so good. And they also included the little mini travel spray as well, which is perfect for taking away on holiday. And then for shoes, I've sort of narrowed it down to these ones. So I always just try and take as like less shoes as possible. Um, so these two are for the evening time. I have these Rattan ones from June and I have these Zara ones as well. And then I have my Birkenstock, which I know I'm going to be living in constantly. I have some other Birkenstocks on the way, which are like a black like thong style, like flip flop style. So I'm going to use them for daytime as well. I'm also going to take these as well because they're perfect as well for changing it in the night time. I don't want to wear my heels. They honestly go with everything and so comfortable. I'm also going to take my Chloe Woolly sandals as well because it's their first holiday and they need a holiday they waited for that long and then I'm going to travel in these because again they're super comfortable I can just walk far in them and they also look really cool as well so I'll wear dresses and whatnot for the evening time if I want to swap things out and then the other bag I'm going to take as well is this crochet one which is a bucket bag from Zara so I feel like I have sort of really organized everything in terms of like shoes and whatnot um, it's just literally getting everything into a case now and sorting out toiletries um, and just waiting for those last bits to arrive. So I'll probably pack some of these shoes as well in my hand luggage because we have a 10 kg um, cabin bag that we can use as well. Um, and if not, if Russ has got any room, he's only taking like four pairs of shoes so he can have some of my shoes. I'm also shooting some campaigns out there as well. So I have got extra bits coming for those bits. There's going to be extra shoes in there as well. But yeah, happy with my choices. I just love all my neutrals. And yeah, I can't wait to take all these on holiday. Good morning guys and hello new hair. I'm still literally wearing the same dress from yesterday. I was in the hairdressers till I think it was about eight o'clock last night. Um, and then this morning I booked in for obviously my nails and my lashes and whatnot. And my appointment was for nine. So I literally this morning, we and Russ were staying up till, we stayed up quite late last night because we were looking, um, we booked at airport parking, but we we're also looking into like booking the COVID tests. Um, so you don't need a test to go before we go to Ibiza because we have our double vaccination, which I have the app, but I've also printed it off as well, um, just in case it doesn't scan or whatnot. And then we've booked our day two return test. So we have to make sure that's booked because um, we need to fill in the passenger form when we're in Ibiza to come home. So we booked that yesterday as well, I bought that last night. So we just wanted to get everything else booked. Um, and then we're going to get our like fly home test um, in Ibiza because when I spoke to Jet2 on the phone they said that um, obviously there's loads of people that come into your hotel there's loads of places nearby that you can go and get it done um, so we're going to do that then in Ibiza so yeah we're up to like last night and um, we're trying to figure that out sort it out find the whole test thing and yeah it just makes it like for like when you go on holiday there's enough stresses like as it is like I'm getting everything ready and because we've been like waiting for the announcement and stuff we sort of like I would have booked this like ages ago so I like to book everything early but there's no point us booking it because we wouldn't have got our money back if anything happened um so yeah i'm super happy with my hair it's gone nice and short and um, i just felt like i needed a good chop and then really happy with my color as well i mean this is literally just bed hair i just rolled out of bed threw on the same dress that i was wearing yesterday and i thought crap i need to go um for my appointments so, yeah really happy with that i'm um, looking forward to getting my brows and my lashes done again um just feeling all nice and fresh for holiday <music>
So I've just got back home after having my brows, my nails and my pedicure done. So a little FYI, my brows aren't going to like stay like, like this. They're just obviously um, just been freshly done. So they look a bit more, what would I say, a bit more in your face. But they do like soften um, once like, I've been wet and whatnot. I just can't get them wet or my lashes wet for 24 hours. I mean, I just love having lbl on my lashes it's just so nice my brows as well and um, we had a bit of a lighter tint done today obviously they look darker because they're wet um which is a bit of a lighter tint today because i'm a bit paranoid because my hair on holiday goes so blonde um, and i go quite tanned on my face because of my freckles so i thought i don't want to go too dark on the tint then my hair looks really light my brows are really dark um but yeah super happy with them i also went for i don't know if you can see a quite natural nail i've gone for like a reverse french which i thought was really nice and simple and then i love my toes and then here are my toes i've gone for this color is called pina colada so it's a perfect like it's not like white white i find that sometimes on holiday like i love having a light toe or a white toe but i think sometimes if you have like bright white it can look a bit like tipexy when you get a tan if that makes sense so this shade is called pina colada really lovely i've also got a bit of a fake nail on here because i literally stubbed my toe and ripped off half my nail but they look all nice and fresh now they look really nice together actually um, with my nails with the reverse wrench and my toe so super happy with them and then tomorrow i'm going into birmingham to have a hydra facial so i was meant to go the other week and have to move my appointment but i thought it'd be really nice to have that done before holiday like this has been a super glow up like hair brows lashes nails but like this is our first holiday in two years i just love like being pampered i just feel so nice when it's like your hair's done and the whole like pre-holiday pamper so yeah we're going to go into birmingham tomorrow and go in the shops first for my appointment because my appointment's not till the afternoon so i thought we'll go into birmingham in the morning russ wants to pick up some last bits he wants to get a couple of vest tops and stuff and like some socks and stuff so we're going to have a little look around there and then try and pack things tonight so we know what we need to get from birmingham tomorrow i've also got some work bits to do now as well to get that all signed off and edit this video edit sunday's video Video. so yeah it's quite busy now but i'll take you along with me tomorrow so we're just on the way into birmingham now it's taken us so long to get here because the motorway bit has been closed they've built on the bridge i don't know what they're junction doing junction 10 of the m6 oh, or something like that so long literally yeah they have replaced two beams so it takes you off the motor to back on but i would knew college within the back way in and then it diverts it's, us back to the yeah. back to that bit for some strange <laughs> it's reason it's been a mess so we was going to birmingham first and then go to my appointment but now it's like near enough two o'clock and I don't want to park the car in Birmingham have to rush rain to then leave Birmingham to go it's not in the centre of Birmingham where we're going so we've got to get the car and go out so I thought we're going to go to the appointment first and then head back into Birmingham after to get the last minute holiday bits so as if you've been blazing music in the car we're just like so excited the weather is so miserable look how rainy it is I mean we're meant to be having a heat wave they did say so we thought that we could probably get like a bit of a more of a base tan before going um but no it's very miserable, but, but we checked the weather. Been putting shapes in the car, putting shapes up. We checked the weather for Ibiza, and it's like 31 degrees. We're like, oh my god, so excited now! Just that you've got to get the bits in Birmingham now, and we'll show you what we get. So this is the first step of the Hydra facial. It's the facial lymphatic draining. What it does is it removes the toxins from the body using your natural lymphatic system. So it stops the skin from going red and getting any swelling after the treatment. It is really comfortable, and it's just nice to ease you into the yeah. facial gets you all nice and relaxed before we start it feels like you can i love sort of like massaging you know when you have like the crystals you sort of push and like push all the fluid out i always find that i get quite a bit of build up the yeah. fluid yeah what i'll do is i'll do one side of your face yeah and then you can see the difference yeah. from the one side to the other yeah because there's a natural lift when yeah we just do this stage yeah and that can yeah, see you can difference. see the difference, yeah. I always find right. this bit yeah. in particular you can see. And yeah. Then under your eyes, can you see the puffiness difference? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And you can know. literally see, like, literally see the difference, yeah. Okay, so this is the deep cleansing exfoliation stage. So the quicker I go, the better the exfoliation. If I went like this, yeah. you just don't get the exfoliation that you want. No. I like it, I like it, it feels nice. Mm -hmm. I don't it feels quite nice. Yeah. So what this is doing is it's taking off any surface oil and any dry skin that we have left on the surface. Yes. Just means that when we put the peel on in the next bit, yeah. we're able to penetrate really nice and deep and get a really good peel from it. Yeah. 
Okay, so this might tingle a little bit. This is just the glycolic and a salicylic peel. The salicylic is really good because it gets down into the pores and it helps to pull out any congestion, which is exactly what we need for this treatment because yeah. it's really good for decongesting the skin. And then the glycolic overall is just an amazing ingredient. It's really good for pigmentation. Yeah, I any love anything scarring. with like glycolic acid, like anything, <laughs> that and all. Yes. Yeah. And hyaluronic. Yes, love yeah. both of them. Might tingle a little bit, but yeah. it's still comfortable. Yeah. I'm just going to work it on your area as well. Yeah. I'm just going to do some extra actions. Yeah. This is my favourite bit there. I think my most area is my nose, really. Let's see how much we can get out. It's so satisfying, you can literally just... You can already see it coming out on the tip. Oh my God, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. Oh, so because of the suction, the vortex tip, and the solution, it really helps to get any congestion. It's got willow bark in. Okay. Which is really good to help suck all of this out. Yeah. So satisfying. So this is the hydration stage. So it's got your antioxidants and your antipeptides. I like to call it your skin juice. No. Because it's everything your skin needs just to keep it fresh and hydrated. It keeps your skin hydrated for like seven days after treatment. Yeah, my face was like so plump and after like, yeah, straight. Even like the day after it looked amazing, but it was for the whole week, like you said. Yeah. This is what gives you that hydrofacial glow yeah. that everyone talks about. It's literally this product. It's liquid gold. I love it. Oh, that's amazing. It's going to be bright. Much better. Right, it's just going to adjust brightness. Okay, I'm going to let you know when it's done. You're going to hear some beeping. Okay, stay very still for me. So Russ is looking a bit sad there because we've just scanned his skin because I said that he needs to, I mentioned to you guys before that he would love a hydrofacial and these are his results. So this is his daylight picture which is obviously fine because it's just going to take a picture of his skin normally. Next one's going to show up any redness. Now he has got some yeah, just around this area. Yeah. It's just where he's sensitive and obviously you can see he's got a couple of spots there. Yeah. But mainly around his nose yeah. which shows me he's not really cleansing his Creases, creases around yeah. his nose properly because it's why he's sort of getting it here as well yeah exactly like these are the areas he's basically really missing right, because okay. it's where his skin is sensitive yeah next picture is going to show up oil yeah now obviously he's got because. some inner crease here yeah. eyelids which i've explained to him he's not obviously removing the oil, oil from his eyelids oil. yeah normal area is his t-zone but then you can also see well. yeah this is going to extenuate any pores that are already there yeah so you can see them here Oh my god, Ross. Oh my god, I had what I wish I need to I don't know if I got pictures of mine on my phone. I literally had one thing on my nose, like Okay, so what's this one? <laughs> so this is bacteria and it's gonna show up any pores as well. So the orange specks is all bacteria. <gasps> And just to make it clear, he did say he's just cleansed his face. That is on. <laughs> Russell. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah so you're going to get one done next time. You can just see that. I said to him, look, you see there's a cluster here yeah. and a cluster there. It looks like, um, oh, what's it called? What's that Disney thing that you watch? The Blue People? Avatar. I don't know. And what's this This one? is going to show up any pigmentation. So the first one does as well, but this is just showing a lot on his nose, upper lip. And what I always like to look at is the eyes and the lips, areas that you don't SPF when you go on holiday. Now you need to make sure you're covering those areas with yeah. SPF every day. Yeah. I mean, his lips are obviously going to be darker, yeah, but, but they are significantly darker. You need to get an SPF lip balm when you go away and you need to definitely SPF your eyes every single day. Yeah. It's really important. This photo is quite scary. It combines all of these pictures together. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what he will look like if he does nothing to his face, no SPF, nothing for 10 years. Russ, that pigmentation is awful. I know, don't. It's a really good look on my face. You've got like freckles, like mine is like natural pigmentation in my freckles. Oh, wow. So you can see 
where he, you've obviously been sunburned on your forehead in the past. Where well, that holiday was that? Do you remember? It's Mexico, what, five, six years he ago? He peeled three times. The peel was so bad. See, like, it, dam it damaged your skin. I tell it all time. And it, it definitely has, because you can see it there, exactly where it's happened. Are you going to have a skincare routine there, yes. Russell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to book him in for one with me next time, but yeah. I've scared him. Yeah. <laughs> just like, be like, yeah, literally, but how do you feel shocked? Yeah, I know I need to do it because I've been how my skin's actually, I've been doing it that, done, I feel like I need it myself. Yeah. Like when, I've, like when I've done a routine before, about after a month, my skin felt like it broke. But I did it for the lockdown, so when we went back to work, I just. And wearing masks. Yeah. Wearing masks. You need to wear clean masks. Each time. I Each time. Know, you do know, but you didn't before. Like yeah. That, yeah. So we're just going to see how much came out of my face. So look, the first one there's quite a lot, but I don't think there's going to be... Oh, that's no end. It's like half. It's, half it's not the quantity, it's what's in it. Yeah. You can see. So obviously it's never meant to be this colour. It's meant to be clear, clear. but it never, ever is. Yeah. But then... You can see. Yes, yeah, so if you look into it... Oh my God. Yeah. So Birmingham was an absolute fail. It was so busy. Literally, Russ was so hungry. He's pulled in and got a slice of pizza. <laughs> so I suppose America, I've had it before in America, and I sit here and I pulled in and was like, yeah, that's what the box is like. Yeah, he's, he's that hungry. Um, he's getting a bit hangry. So we went into Birmingham, got Russ a pair of sliders. There wasn't really many sliders. We went to June, got some in the sale. Honestly, I was looking at <laughs> Gucci sliders because I thought, you know what, they're an investment. Um, All Saints had no slides whatsoever. I can order some for Monday, but I was like, no, we fly Tuesday morning. I'll oh, be definitely at home for Tuesday Monday. I said, can you guarantee? And she's like, yeah. well, I was like, well, no, that's going to no, work. No, no, no. And everyone, nowhere, literally, even though it says it's still August, <laughs> no one had sliders. Anything. And obviously, we didn't order anything because obviously, we didn't know what was going on. And then it definitely was like a stressful last minute. Like, Russ is going to go shopping tomorrow on his own because I've got loads of work I need to do. Um, so he's going to go Sorry, in the morning, guys, morning yeah, he's I'm literally just, uh, scoffing his face with the pizza. Um, so yeah, literally my skin it feels amazing after my hydrofacial. Russ is going to book in as well because he's like, it's like my face is dirty. I was like, it's just showing you what... I told you said, this when you're looking 10 years time, I was like, <laughs> it's just my language. I was like... Uh, <laughs> you can't say anymore. You can, which is beeped. She's yeah, yeah, beeped yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but I'd be banging on at him saying he needs to do a skincare routine and obviously having a skin specialist tell him that he needs to have a skincare routine and show him his face. This is what you're looking 10 years time if you don't do anything and continue the way you're going, which is a good thing, like really good. So we're booked in for us next time and then we're going to get home to Hugo, cook some dinner and then we're just going to go shopping tomorrow. So sorry we didn't take you guys around the shops because Birmingham was so busy. Yeah, it was... Um, no, look, those people had no mask on. We felt really uncomfortable. Um, it was too much, wasn't it? Like, you no, know, there's no rules and restrictions stuff like that, but there's literally people in queues are literally on the back of people, like literally yeah. touching the back and I was just like... No, nah, it wasn't. No, I'm sorry, like... We felt really minute. uncomfortable, so we Especially thought, going on holiday, it would take a pretty court in there just going in to try and grab some yeah. and return it. I'd be devastated, yeah, like, generally. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that was definitely an experience. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I do have a discount code as well for the Birmingham Private Clinic. I highly recommend. Laura was lovely. He did my hydrofacial. Honestly. She was so lovely. Honestly, so lovely. So I highly recommend going there. Um, I'll link everything in the description down below for you about that. My discount code on the screen below. Um, so, yeah, that is the end of this vlog. And the next time you'll be seeing us will be in... I beat that so so excited so if you've liked this vlog oh, I cannot wait guys literally we're buzzing we're so excited I thought, well, the other day when they went to say they're doing a new restriction if it went to red I would literally cried and that's not even like oh we're just going to try no Gemma yeah like, we were cried, I'm gonna devastated. be absolutely devastated so, yeah. just watching everyone else go oh Lambo's green oh we could go next week because of my work could not let yeah, it go until I the time off. off. I've had to do 10 days, 11 days straight one time to cover all the COVID stuff. I thought it's my turn. If it's my turn and it goes red, I'll be like, nah. no. No, but we're not. We're going to Ibiza on Tuesday. So if you have liked this vlog, guys, then please make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well for the Ibiza vlog. So we'll see you in Ibiza. Bye, guys. Take care.